Hi there, it's Wendy with Wendy Lynn's Kitchen. Welcome to my channel. And for today's video, I am going to be uh, talking about one of my favorite meals that I prepare. It's air fried salmon. Um, I like to make this once or twice a week for my family or for me during the lunch time. It's just a real quick, easy way to make salmon. It's super healthy and it only takes about 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, so I've got my piece of salmon here. I've got a whole filet of salmon. I've already rinsed it with some cold water and I patted it dry with a paper towel so it's nice and dry. You wanna have your salmon dry before you season it uh, because that will just help the seasonings and olive oil uh, adhere to the salmon real well. Now you do wanna have your air fryer heated up before you put the salmon in there. So I've got my son Brody, he's videoing my video today. He's gonna walk around here and show you my air fryer. Come on over here, Brody. So I've got the Ninja uh, all-in-one air fryer. This this thing is very old, and um, but it works great. I've taken it on RV trips and I use it here at home all the time. So uh, I would like to get a new one at some point, but for right now, so we've got, so we're gonna turn the power on. Gonna go ahead and do the air crisp mode. And I'm gonna set my temperature to 400 degrees. And I'm gonna just set my timer to about 25 minutes. And I'm gonna hit the start. And that's gonna go ahead and heat my air fryer up. Uh, now Brody's gonna come back around here so that he can finish videoing my preparation of the salmon. So while my air fryer is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my filet up. Now in this size air fryer, I can probably do about three two inch filets. Um, when I'm air frying salmon, I like to cut uh, my salmon in strips of about two inches wide. And I find that that's a good size um, uh, piece of fish that's gonna get a really delicious crispiness around the uh, outside of the fish and it's going to make it nice and tender and flaky on the inside. I personally choose to buy salmon with the skin on uh, because you've got all those wonderful omega-3s in the skin and as those as the salmon's cooking those omega-3s will kind of infuse into the fish. Certainly it's your preference you don't have to have the skin if you don't want to but I personally like to have the skin on. So now I'm gonna cut my fillets. Um, I will use, uh, I wanna have even symmetrical fillets. So I'm gonna cut this uneven part off and I'll use that for something else. Got a pretty, pretty good fillet knife here, but it can be a little sharper, so I'm gonna put that to the side. So now I'm gonna just cut three fillets, right about maybe roughly about two inches wide. One. And these are pretty generous portions, but I've got three boys and they like to eat, so I don't want to skimp on their portion of fish. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and have these three fillets here that I'm going to air fry. Now what I like to do um, next is I'm gonna drizzle, I've got a little bit of garlic infused olive oil that I'm going to just drizzle just a tiny little bit. Just do a little dab and I'll make sure that I don't touch the rim of the olive oil with the hand that I've been touching my salmon with. We don't wanna contaminate anything, obviously. Just do a little drop of that. Just gonna rub that garlic infused olive oil on my fillets. I'm just gonna wash my hands real quick here. That way, I don't contaminate anything. Okay, now for the seasoning, I'm kind of a less is more on salmon. I really like the way salmon tastes in its natural state cooked, but I like just a little bit of fresh ground pepper and then I have this actual, I've got this lemon thyme salt shaker. I actually got this at Aldi. One of those Aldi finds here today, gone tomorrow. And this is just really great. It's got a great flavor and I love the coarse uh, salt on the salmon. So first I'm gonna just get a little bit of pepper, not a lot, just a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and pepper these fillets up here. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take my shaker here and I'm going to just do it not too generous. I don't want it too salty, but I'm going to just do a little uh, grind of this lemon thyme salt. And that's all I do for the salmon. Now my air fryer has been going for oh, about four minutes. And so it should be good and hot. Uh, I am going to do just a little light spray of uh, some olive oil cooking spray nonstick. My air fryer is going to get that going in there real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my salmon fillets inside of the air fryer. You want to make sure that they're not touching. You want to get that circulated air all around the whole body of the fish fillet. So now I'm going to go ahead and place these fillets in my air fryer. Just make sure they're not touching. Be careful that you don't touch the actual air fryer all either because you obviously don't want to burn yourself. And I'm going to shut that. And now this is going to take, um, I personally don't like my salmon overcooked. I want it uh, nice, light, and flaky. I don't want it too firm. So that usually, in my experience, takes about 10 minutes maybe 12 at most. So we're just gonna pause the video for uh, about that amount of time while the fish is cooking and we'll get right back with you in just a few minutes. So it's been 10 minutes and I've checked our salmon and it is done. Look how beautiful that salmon is. It's got a nice beautiful color, a nice crispiness and a, just a nice little, it feels, oh, look at that just falling apart. Oh. So to plate it, what I've done in the meantime, um, in the meantime, I sauteed up uh, some fresh baby spinach, just with a little olive oil, a little garlic powder, some sea salt, fresh pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that on my plate here. We love vegetables here in our household, so just make a nice little bed of spinach on there. That, just a little bit more. Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my salmon. Oh, it's, oh wow, it's falling apart. This is gonna be delicious. Go ahead and fight that. And there you have it. The air fry salmon. Uh, Robert, come on over here. This is my husband, Robert. He's gonna go ahead and do the honors of taking a bite of that and Thank see you. how it tastes. It's gonna be piping hot, so, okay. just... so be careful. Just take a little bit of it there. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's just falling apart. It's gonna be delicious. Well, let me just try this. Careful, it's gonna be hot. Mm. How is it? Mm. That is so good. Well, good, I'm glad you like oh, it. Oh, it's so good. It's got a little bit of crisp on the outside. Nice and tender on the inside, it's perfect. Mm. So there you have it, folks. Um, my air fry salmon literally took me about 15 minutes to make. You can also pair it with some potatoes, you know, rice, whatever you want, but it's just a super easy, healthy way to make a quick dinner for your family. I hope you liked my video tonight. This is the first video that I've ever made on YouTube, so there might have been some bloopers or mistakes, but hopefully I'll get better over time. If you liked my video, I hope that you hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.